Welcome to another episode of Ask the Experts. I'm Rachel Landry, and today I'm joined by my colleague, Gus Cook. Gus is an application specialist here at the company, and he'll be talking to us today about mosaicing data in Global Mapper. All right, Gus, take it away. Hello, I'm Gus, a member of the software support team here at Blue Marble, and today I'm going to be answering the question of how do I tile and mosaic imagery in Global Mapper? You can see here that I have a raster layer it is currently in Global Mapper package format. This is the recommended format for storing streamed online data sources locally. So export your online data source to Global Mapper package format. And then once you have that, you can load it in and export it to whatever your desired uh, end goal format will be. So I'm going to right click here, export, layer export, I'm going to choose GeoTIFF for this particular example. I'm going to go to the tiling tab and this gives us an opportunity to look through some of these options. We can specify the number of rows or columns or tiles. We can specify the width and height of each tile or we can specify the width and height of each tile by pixel. This is only available for raster data obviously. Um, or we can use selected area features for tiles. And that is what we're going to do today. It's currently grayed out because we don't have anything selected. So I'm going to close out of this quickly and select the parcel map here I'm going to use to export so now we can go back to the tile tab and we can see that use selected area features for tiles is now an option. So we're going to choose this option. We're going to crop to selected area features so that uh, none of the borders around each tile um, will appear when we load the file back in. And we're going to choose sequential numbering for our naming of our tiles and we are going to crop to the exact area boundary because we don't want any of the bounding boxes to appear in our new tiles so I'm going to select yes and this is Kingfield Maine so I'm going to call this the imagery is from Kingfield Maine so I'm going to call these Kingfield tiles And I'm going to control U to unload what we previously had. And I'm going to select File, open all files from in a directory tree to open multiple files at once. We're going to navigate to our folder, which our tiles are in. We're going to search that folder with a specific mask, and that is going to be TIFF so that we can ignore those projection files that were generated. We can see here that now we have our imagery loaded in, um, our tiled imagery. A quick tip for you have a lot of files that you want to turn on and off or work with as one single group. We can right click and then select group. And now we can turn off and on these tiles simultaneously. There is, in terms of the second half of the question, mosaicing, there is no dedicated uh, mosaic tool in Global Mapper. However, if we export through the file menu, then, and we do not select any tiling, so no tiling, then the resulting file will be a combination of all loaded data that we currently had in that instance of Global Mapper. So I'm going to bring that in quickly. And we can see now that we have a composite of all of those tiles um, into a single um, if file. Guys, thank you so much for sharing that with us. I know that our users will find it very useful. 
To learn more about Global Mapper and Global Mapper Pro, visit our website today. And as always, thank you for joining us for this episode of Ask the Experts, and we hope to see you next time.